The crew of the flagship carrier USS Bunker Hill are at battle stations, expecting dawn raids from the enemy. But the skies are eerily quiet. We were just secured from general quarters. So I guess we all thought we're not in a battle situation. And we went down in the officer's mess to have a cup of coffee. We still were carrying our gas masks. And then, without warning, they came in. I heard two great, huge explosions. Sounded like a bad landing on the flight deck, but no, it was more than that. Shortly after 10 a.m., two kamikazes managed to evade radar detection by following Allied fighters returning to the USS Bunker Hill. I saw the planes go into the Bunker Hill. It was thick, black, oily smoke. She was damaged pretty badly. The two suicide bombers ignite aviation fuel on the deck and hangar deck. A U.S. Navy cameraman captures the chaos. I went up to the hangar deck, and it was in disarray and smoke. And there was no place to stand to protect yourself. The carrier's huge ventilation system begins to suck the choking fumes down into the decks below, turning them into death traps to any man without a gas mask. The officer's mess was two decks below the hangar deck, so we were trapped. The flight deck was full of airplanes, which produced oil smoke. And all that was taken down into the bowels of the ship. We couldn't even see each other, it was so black. We got on our hands and knees and crawled to the doorway. We couldn't breathe. So I took out my gas mask and so did my friend. We put the gas mask on. That saved our lives. By the time we got to the hallway, they were so full of bodies that we had to crawl on top of the bodies to get to a ladder that would go up to the hangar deck. Just the two of us got out, the rest of them all stayed down there. Anyone below decks just didn't make it. Now that's a memory that does not go away. I dreamed about that one for years. <laughs> 